Hey YouTube, it's Miranda and Jordan. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 21. 21. So we just filmed Vlogmas Day 20 in the same exact spot. 20. <laughs> Why? We're just trying to catch up on what we missed because we've gone to see some venues but haven't gotten a chance to sit here and like talk to you about them. So that's what we're doing. This is an exciting video and you'll understand why in just a few. So the other day we went to tour another voting venue. It's called Fox Hop Yard and the restaurant there is called On The Rocks. So On The Rocks at Fox Hop Yard. It's in East Haddam, Connecticut. It's only about like 20 minutes from where we live. It's actually at a golf course. My aunt told me about this venue last week and I was super excited to see it once I looked it up. It was, I could tell that this was gonna be a winner. I think I especially liked it right now because it's all snowy and I just love how it looked there, but it looks beautiful in the summer too, so. Anyway, as you pulled up, this is how it looked. It's just like a big golf course, so it's very like open and I lots think, of grass if there wasn't snow. people living. I think it's a community too. I think there's like some houses back there. Oh, really? Yeah. Not That's the... interesting. So this is what it looks like as you pull up to the venue. I thought this was, I thought it was so pretty. Like, it's like just so pulling majestic. Up. And... I feel like it is. Like you're pulling up here and it has the beautiful like pavilion Fancy. and everything. So pretty. So before we even entered to like talk to the girl that was giving us the tour, I took these clips of just like walking towards the building. No gravel, you may notice, which is something that we just mentioned in our last video that the place um, that we just made a video about had a lot of gravel, which I was thinking like high heels, gravel, I don't know. This area right here, this is their, what they call it, like gazebo pavilion? I think pavilion. I think they call it the pavilion. Yeah. And that is where the reception would be. Um, and I thought it was like, this is the thing, we have no perception of like space because I didn't know you could fit so many people in here, but she said you could fit 120, 120 people under here. So. I was really impressed with that. I didn't realize, I thought it was, I thought this was like only an option if you had a smaller wedding and they had like another space, like you have to use the indoors or something. But no, you can use that space. So once we got inside and flipped through like the book that had some pictures just to get some ideas of what people have done, um, the girl brought us to where we would have our ceremony. And this area is really appealing to me because they have this like U-shaped area where you can have it without any cover, but then, to the right of that, they have a spot under the deck that is covered, so if it was a rainy day, you could still have your ceremony basically right in the same spot, just like 50 feet away. <laughs> yeah, it, not a lot of, nothing else changes, you're just no. out of the rain. Yeah, which, which is so convenient. That's awesome. Actually, this whole place, like if it was a rainy day or bad weather or whatever, you could basically still have your wedding the exact same way you planned on it. I think the outdoor, Even though it's outdoor. The deck is covered, the pavilion is covered. Yeah, I, it's really nice. So then she showed us where cocktail hour would be and it would be a mixture of this room here and then the deck that's attached to this room so people could go in and out. If COVID is still an issue, they could only be outside if they wanted or if they're comfortable, they can come in, whatever. There's lots of flexibility, which I really liked about it. They were setting up for a wedding that night, so there were some decorations getting ready to be put up in there. So cute. So then we went to the bridal suite, and this really spoke to me because it was really big. It has lots of couches. It has a bathroom that even has a shower, which, hey, may need it. I don't know. It had a huge table. Overall, just like super convenient for the day to have that much space with my girls and everything. And it had this balcony attached, which is really nice for taking pictures so that, you know, before you like go see anyone, you can take pictures on your own with privacy. In the pavilion, there's that big metal grill and they do cover that up with linens. You can also choose like a package that gets you like a prettier decor for it, which honestly I probably will do. And then also that countertop that's right in front of it, one side turns into the bar and one side turns into the DJ, which is, I thought that was like genius. Okay, perfect. The menu for this place looks awesome. That's one thing that's so appealing to me about like, I liked that about Wright's a lot. Actually, Wright's was the only other one. We were really hoping for somewhere that had like catering right there. Um, kind of all inclusive. Mostly all inclusive. Like yeah. I'm okay with bringing in my DJ, but like I wanted right. the bar there. I wanted the catering there. I wanted them to take care of like the linens and the tables. Mm -hmm. Like I didn't want to have to rent out right. all that stuff. I wanted them to do that. Yeah. And, th and this place does all that. Plus their menu looks so good. There's so many options. You can choose like, I don't know why I'm so like, uh, attracted to the street foods. I think it's just like a fun option. I don't know if it's something we do, but I well, just think like it's like our style of party. Like we're not Yeah. All the parties know. that we ever host or our families host are always 
street food parties. Yeah, you know, like hors d'oeuvres and, and stuff. And, yeah, or like you know, when seafood. We, yeah, or we do like not. I don't know, like um, potato skins and like mini weenies and stuff. I right, don't know. like we're never. Which I'm not saying that's what our wedding's gonna be, but it's just like I like the fun options. Plus, they have really cool options to add on at the end of the night, like an ice cream bar, a popcorn bar, pretzel bar, like all sorts of fun stuff. It right, like it's so fun. Cute. It's a wedding. It's yeah. a good time. So, big news. We booked this venue today, so this is the winner. This does conclude our wedding venue tours. I thought we'd go see a lot more, but this was just the one. We felt it in our hearts. We left mm -hmm. and we're like, we really liked that. Like, this is it. So see y'all when we get married. No. Bye. No. <laughs> So yeah, we've been really excited today since we officially have our wedding date picked out and booked. So Fox Hobby Yard is the winner and I'm so excited. I can't wait to like, now we get to like plan out all the details. So stay tuned for all that stuff. I want to share like filling out my, the, my like wedding journal. It has spots to do vision boards for different like aspects of the wedding. So I'm probably going to make some videos like making my vision boards. So that's it for Vlogmas Day 21. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you never miss a video. And I will see you maybe tomorrow, maybe in a few days. I don't really know. I've been missing days here and there for Vlogmas, but just trying to do what I can. So yeah, see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye. Behold, I bring you tidings of great joy, which will be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord.